I'm Hope Klein, Health Education and Food Safety Field Specialist with SDSU Extension. Today we're in my kitchen to talk about two different types of canners, pressure canners and water bath canners. Pressure canning is used for low acid foods such as vegetables and meats. Pressure canner typically begins with a heavy duty pot on the bottom and then a tight fitting lid that doesn't let steam escape. This builds up the pressure inside of your pressure canner. There are two different kinds of pressure canners. There is a dial gauge pressure canner and then a weighted gauge pressure canner. With the weighted gauge pressure canner, there is this vent port on the top of the pressure canner and then there's different types of weights that you can place on top of the vent port. For this particular pressure canner, we have three different sized weights. We have a five pound weight, 10 pound, and 15 pound. So with a weighted gauge pressure canner, these self-regulate based on the pounds of pressure that you need. Here I have another style of weight that can be used on a pressure canner. This one isn't for this canner, um, but it has three different ports that you can place on the canner. So if you want five pounds of pressure, you'll place it on like this. If you rotate it, you'll get 10 pounds and then rotate it again and you'll get 15 pounds of pressure. With the dial gauge pressure canner, you regulate the pounds of pressure of the canner by changing the heating element on your stove top. So you can see here we have the dial and the needle will move based upon the pounds of pressure inside of the canner. For dial gauge pressure canners, it is highly recommended that you get them tested for accuracy every year. When it comes to pressure canning, either style of pressure canner will work as they both achieve the temperature of 240 degrees, which is what we're looking for to kill the harmful bacteria in our low acid foods. It's important to clean your canner after every use. Go ahead and put it in warm soapy water and scrub it inside and out. Another important element about your pressure canners is that they have this rubber gasket inside the lid. Every year when you go to use your canner, it would be beneficial to check the condition of your gasket. If you bend it and it cracks, that would mean that you are in need of a new gasket. Water bath canners are used for your high acid foods, such as your peaches or your tomatoes. There are three different kinds of water bath canners. There is aluminum, steel, and porcelain covered steel, also known as an, an enamel canner. With water bath canners, it's really important that the height of your pot is high enough to be able to have water covering your jars one to two inches once it is fully loaded. Another important aspect about water bath canners is that you should have a rack at the bottom of your canner so that there is separation between the bottom of your jars and your heating element. Something to pay attention to is the bottom of your water bath canner. You'll either have a smooth bottom like this canner or your canner will have a rippled bottom like you can see here. The rippled bottom water bath canners are best used on a coil top stove and are not recommended for smooth stove top as they can damage the glass. What we have here is the ball electric water bath canner. This is really great because this bottom section here serves as its own heating element. So you just fill it half full with water, plug it in and get the water preheated while you get your jars ready. Once your jars are ready, place them in, add extra hot water if necessary so that your jars are covered in water, and then you turn this dial all the way up to canning. Whether you're pressure canning or water bath canning, it's really important to pay attention to the diameter of your canner compared to the diameter of your heating element. You never want the diameter of your canner to be more than four inches wider in diameter than that of your heating element. After you have used your canner and washed it with warm soapy water, in order to store it, it's recommended that you put a couple of dry paper towels inside of your canner to absorb any moisture that may remain there. Thank you for joining me to learn about water bath and pressure canners.